There was a crew of people back in 2002, and they were audacious and bold. They weren't afraid of challenges, and they threw this thing together. They didn't care whether anybody liked it or approved of it. It was this renegade thing that... Hi, this is Peter Gershon. When I'm in Hempstead, I watch TNL. My name is Dr. Peter Gershon. I've been the faculty advisor for HEAT since 2003. The HEAT network started in 2002. The desire for it was student-driven that I remember. The appetite had been there, the demand had been there for a lot of years, but there were very few professors. We had a smaller faculty then. And HEAT started with Thursday Night Live. Sports Beat came on pretty soon thereafter, I think it was the following year. The network had been on paper, but for a while it was really about Thursday Night Live only. It's really kind of impressive to me at this point that we've, we've added shows as we went along. You know, it, it's like priming a pump. You, you, the first couple of draws to get the water up from deep in the well are labor intensive. And then the system kind of runs. Um, we have five franchise shows, the two oldest of which have now been in existence for 20 years. That is something that's really astounding. Things don't last that long in this era. I work with producers in heat who are just amazing. Who, anybody who undertakes the role of producer is asking for a world of hurt at some levels. The biggest advantage of doing all that, I think, is the fact that you learn very hands-on stuff that may be not possible to teach in a classroom and I taught production for decades, so I think I'm qualified to talk about it. I have always maintained that what we do here, to use the baseball analogy, is the equivalent of triple A minor league ball. It's the highest level you can go, and the next stop is the major leagues. I, I didn't get paid to be a faculty advisor until 2015. I did it as a labor of love for all the time up till that moment, and especially the first couple of years Working with HEAT has been one of the most phenomenal opportunities I've had in a very long career. The kinds of things I've learned are, are intangible. I'm not sure I could list them. I think more for me it was about the singular pleasures I've had with the people I've worked with. I'm excited for where we go. This is good not having to be here as often. It's going to be good for me physically and mentally and emotionally. I'm excited about the prospect of newer, younger advisors coming in. That can't be a bad thing. That's a good thing. I'm very excited for the prospects and possibilities of Heat's next 10 years. At the same time, I have a little bit of, of sadness about stepping down. There are things I'm going to miss a lot, mostly working one-on-one -on -one with the producers, which is something I still love doing. All good rides eventually come to an end, and you think about what is the next thing for them, what is the next thing and this is a very good time to make this transition.